Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution, playing as a return to the Golden Age of Greece, and we're just taking a little overview look at the Greek Empire here. We control uh, all of mainland Greece, the Aegean Sea. We've also grabbed half of the island of Cyprus, Sovereign Cyprus as it's called, as opposed to um, the Turkish territory, which is... I believe non-recognized Cyprus there um, also have Lebanon and we have annexed uh, Israel and Lebanon and Syria is our uh, dependency and again I don't think there's any way to actually incorporate it, a dependency into your country I think that's just who they are uh, prohibition on residents I don't know what that means Yeah, there's not nothing else you can do here except, um, you know, aid them, attempt to aid them and such. Um, I think they will basically agree with everything you have to uh, ask them. And we're actually going to go ahead and test that right now. Uh, there was a suggestion on the channel that we build a um, Israeli Lebanese Syrian railroad. And I think we're going to go ahead and build a couple railroads, actually. There's also a request for a Balkan railroad here through the uh, UL countries, the Union of the Levant countries, um, which we're definitely going to do because we are building an empire here. We're building a Greek empire, a Hellenic empire. And empires need railroads. Modern empires, all major not modern empires need railroads, right? The United States has the trans uh, Atlantic, uh, transcontinental railroad, excuse me, for stretching from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Uh, Russia has the Trans-Siberian uh, Railroad, and now even China is attempting to build uh, a transcontinental railroad, I believe, with their whole Silk Road project that they've been promoting, which will go through uh, Central Asia into Russia, and I think stretch all the way to Europe, as far as I understand there. There's a lot on YouTube about that. You guys can look that up if you want. Uh, but we're going to need railroads in our country, right? And we're going to start small. Um, I took a look here and um, where do we have here? Transportation, yeah. So uh, when constructing a railroad, uh, we're gonna have to get authorization to go through Syria, but I don't think there's any way, unless I go from Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, uh, uh, to Haifa, to Beirut to Damascus I don't know I don't know if that's how feasible that is because if you look at the population I think that is kind of what matters to population of cities that you're connecting uh, Beirut is a pretty big city big city it says so right there uh, 1.9 uh, million people okay it is Greek Damascus is around the same size national capital 1.9 million population is 10 percent interesting Okay, and that population is only 6%. Um, but if you look at these uh, Israeli cities, they're much smaller. Uh, only 300,000 there. Uh, Tel Aviv, 500,000, less than a million. And Jerusalem, uh, it's a big city, 750,000. But I don't think we can connect unless we make some sort of... Uh, we get. Palestine to authorize us to build a railroad through there, so I don't, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that. Um, so for starters, we're going to just start small and try to get a small railroad linking Beirut to Damascus. I think that's a pretty uh, feasible goal here for all these uh, people suggesting railroad connections. We're going to start with that high-speed train, and if I start in Beirut and I go to Damascus right there, it's going to cost us about uh, 2.2 billion dollars. Um, this says that cost borne by Greeks is 1%. I'm going to bore the entire cost, I think. Uh, we're not authorized to build in Syria. But since they are our dependency, the assumption is right away that they will have no problem with us um, constructing high-speed railroad networks in their country. So there we have it, Syria, before proposing international project for high-speed rail, rail ne uh, network. You must sign bilateral agreements with the countries um, the new routes will cover. So let's go ahead and propose a bilateral agreement with Syria, our dependency. They should really approve that right away. 
Uh, that's another interesting. We have a subway, um, subway trainway. I don't have any subways. Too many places. I guess you have to select the region where it would go. I might bring some subways. Are these miles? Or this is just subway trainways. Medium traffic airports. I probably could build some more airports. I don't have an intense traffic airport. I'm thinking maybe one in Athens. Uh, port and then oil tanker port. Those are all options. Alright, so we're going to wait to see what Syria has to say. Um, I did hear suggestions on the channel that there is some oil um, northeast of Cyprus. So I just want to take a look at that for now. I'm not going to build it right away, but oil, I guess platforms is what you need, right? Position. Analyzing. Oh, there you go. Very good production. Very good production. I don't know if we can produce there because we don't have control over those words. I think we only have produce, uh, control of these words. I think we'd have to... Oh, there's very good production right there, too. So I think that's probably where... That's average. So it looks like this little corner right here is where we're most likely going to build some oil wells. Yeah, why not? I think that's going to be coming up either in this episode or in an uh, upcoming episode. The other thing we're going to take a look at in this episode is going to be politics or more uh, political power. Um, balance of power within the country. I think this was suggested by Rob White that we, uh, since we're down to 99, we're up to 99 percent, and it doesn't look like they're going to declare war on us. I think uh, it was suggested that because we have so many strong allies that no one is going to actually use the authorization from the UN uh, to declare war on us. Also the fact that Cyprus has been eliminated I think it also plays a role. Oh, by the way, I'm going to have to build some bases in Cyprus too. That's probably going to start. I'm going to do that in the new year probably. I want to see exactly where my finances are. And I'll probably start building the railroad in the new year as well. Um, but for this episode, we're mostly going to focus on politics and acquiring more power, tightening our grip on the empire pretty much here. And the proposal is going to not dissolve parliament yet, but determine the powers of parliament. We're going to weaken them again. Um, right now is that votes of low votes laws and motions of no confidence against the government but not against the head of state we're gonna reduce this to vote laws but no votes uh, no motions of no confidence this should strengthen our power of the executive weakening the power of uh, parliament here the problem is that it's only 58 50 point eight percent the people like it but I've seen votes this close miss so I'm gonna go ahead and yes I'm gonna propose this and we are going to give this a reform name. I don't know what name to call this. Um, we'll call this Oh Hellenic. No, Hellenic reform reforms. I can't type with the microphone in the way. Reform one. Okay, and it's probably. I don't know why I'm calling it that, but uh, I'm just calling it that, and um, let's go ahead and create that reform. I'm going to go ahead and add, attach something to this bill as well. We're going to go into head of state, or no, I'm not going to go into head of state, am I? You... Yes, I am. And I know uh, Rob White, the one who suggested the reduction of Parliament is against me continuing to expand the years, but I'm just going to do it one more time, and I'm going to expand this to 10 years. So we have a decade, and after this I'm going to run for election, after this decade expansion. This puts us at 57.9% is the Parliament position. So attaching this to the Hellenic Reform should lock us in for a 53.6% vote that will secure greater power over Parliament and over the country. Let's go ahead and run this clock. And I'm going to try to run it to the end of the year here and see exactly what our new finances are in the new year. What can we spend? Uh, I'm going to have to take a look at four. Whoa, a lot of action going on here. Hold on, i got to check this out. Human rights, or com people are complaining about human rights. And uh, sit in for the repatriation of troops from foreign countries. We still have troops in foreign countries. Uh, uprising, uprising in Athens. God, it never stops. Who is uprising? Hold on, let me uh, back up here. We are your what group is it? Here it is. 
this crazy uh, group here is again attempting to uh, usurp the government it looks like alright so we'll go ahead and we're sending reinforcements in I'll probably throw a grenade right in the middle there just to mix things up and let's throw another gas grenade right in there we'll mix things up to start and see what happens uh, that group is continuing to try to attack us here uh, refuse Algeria and let's go ahead and run this clock so like I was saying whoa man the rebels have stopped fighting our actions on the ground that was pretty quick reinforcements have been sent in uh, there are a lot of announcements coming here. National unrest, undecided. Your television appearance does not seem to have. I guess it was the force that we used on the ground when we sent in the reinforcements and threw in the uh, gas grenades. Some of our side have been wounded, but our men are bravely making the first arrests. Good. Syria, there you go. Syria agrees to a potential partnership for construction of the high-speed rail lines. This country has signed. Our draft agreement, which opens the door to joint projects to construct high speed rail lines. We maintain good relations with this country and on an economic on an economic and diplomatic level. We had no difficulty convincing them, of course they are our colony. The rebels have set up a barricade. They have to listen to what we say. And is this rebellion still going on here? Wow, look at this craziness. Okay. We'll wait for the reinforcements. Let's keep going. What is the population of the city of Athens, I wonder? Oh my god, demonstrations all over the country. What is going on here? I think people are a little... Oh, that was quick. Those demonstrations lasted one day. Alright, Greece. The population of Athens is only 729,000. Wow. That's pretty small compared to those other cities. All right, National Assembly has reduced powers. Hold on a second here. National Assembly has reduced powers. Popular uh, demonstration of opposition. 400 people are demonstrating in Athens. They express uh, their strong opposition to government policy, banners, slogans, etc. Looks like their protest has diminished. Reinforcements have arrived in Athens. And inauguration on something. I forget what that was. Okay, repatriation of troops in foreign country. Pacifist Union, still being a problem. I think I might want to ban that Pacifist Union soon. Let's appear on television to try to disperse them. Our popularity has dipped down into the 80s because of that uh, political power grab. But we should be strengthening our position even further. Your television appearance was watched attentively, as usual. Now it seems the demonstrators are divided in their... Good. Okay, so we are rolling through November here. Like I was saying before, foreign aid is going to be something I have to look at. We've got aid here. We've got aid going to a lot of different countries. Let's see, economic aid, cost in billions. It's only 300 and, uh, that doesn't make any sense. I thought I had more. Development. Cost in billions. 13 billion. Yeah, we're definitely going to reduce some of that foreign aid, I think. For the moment, we have the sit-in under... No need to intervene. Our governmental cell in yes, grab that missile target. Syrian forces for pure Islam. I have kidnapped a journalist, it looks like. We have subdued the rebel movement. Alright, rebel movement subdued. Our popularity jumped back up because of an unpopular uprising. Military intervention came in. Journalist kidnapped, that's what it said, okay. So, pushing through November, let's go a little faster. I'm going to have to reduce foreign aid in the new year. I'm going to wait to see uh, if the uh, how the UN Security Council uh, reconfigures itself. We'll go ahead and commit the aid till the end of the year that we committed, uh, that we promised. All right. Another inauguration of something great that we built, who knows what. Out. Okay, pacifist union blowing the out, of steam. Begins to run out of steam. There it is. Of the 
I'm rack mole unprotected. Don't worry the about it. Begins. And that seems to be that. Okay, so press play. End of the sit-in. Beautiful. To Parliament. Let's check laws in progress. These will be voted on uh, the end of the month on November 30th. Hellenic reforms will give us a greater power over Greece and the political situation there. What is this disaster? Oh man, another terrorist attack in Syria. Syria is dealing with a lot of problems. Let's check out the Syrian economy real quick. Has it been improving? Unemployment is at 50%. That is disastrous. Growth is at uh, 3.4, which is good. Inflation is better than ours. Um, the other thing is going to be to create a free market, and I think I may include um, Syria in that free market if I can. I might include Syria. I'm going to include the Levant states that we had for the Levant Union, which seems to be improving our relations with a lot of these guys. Uh, we'll include the Levant states, which include Italy, Spain, Portugal, uh, a lot of the Balkan states. I'm going to add Syria to that next one. Great disapproval. So express disapproval of the presence of our troops near our border, represent potential threats to our integrity. Troops near the border? What troops do they have near their border? Hmm, I got a couple troops. I don't really want to uh, provoke them right now, so I'm just going to pull the troops back. Right, what do they have? Pakistani forces on the border? All the Iranian forces have been cleared out of this country. And they are deploying 17 soldiers. All right, uh, setting new interest rates of the organization, central banks, this agenda, the next, so yeah, we definitely need to be present there. I need to raise those interest rates as high as I can. That's going to be a big problem. Uh, also in the new year, this was reminded, uh, a number of people reminded me of this, their contracts are going to be up in the new year. So if we go to diplomacy here, uh, check out economy, and we'll just go with... Uh, all nations, right? They're all countries right there. Some of our oldest contracts are the one with the United ones with the United States. Um, fish, fuel, I think fuel might be well, coal is definitely the biggest one. Yeah, twenty three billion dollars this contract's worth. And this one's up uh, February twenty seventh. Oh, so I got time. Detailed assessment here. Revenue represented in this contract is insignificant compared to global activity. Wow, look at that. Uh, have not had significant impact on unemployment. Hmm. Okay. There are more things to consider with trade policy than just profit. Go ahead, we'll meet with the Russian Workers' Party again. Jordanians. Alright, get out of there. We might have to protest that. There's another fuel. Is it fuel that's uh, bringing in all the money? January 8th. Yeah, January 8th. Uh, that's not bringing too much. That's nine, $9 billion there. But there's a number of contracts that are going to be up January 8th. And for the beginning of the year, maybe in the first quarter, I'm just going to let it slide and not renegotiate any contracts. I think I'm going to induce a slight recession. Um, I really think we should send a message of disapproval to the Yes, government. let's go ahead. Maybe we can annex Jordan overall. after all. Bargain concluded with the Minister for the Environment of Iran. We have another uh, cabinet member, a foreign bureaucrat in our pockets. That's always good. Here's the reform. We're going to take a hit. There it is. 5 7%. Warmongering. Humanitarian. 26,000 from the pacifist union have come out revolutions throughout the entire country and riots in Greece. Let's go ahead and bring in the police reinforcements, confirm that, and appear on television. We'll try to talk to the nation, calm things down. If that's at all possible, national unrest adds Your fuel to the fire. Had an undeniable effect. It we made it even worse. We are down below 80% reinforcements have been sent in. Our governmental cell Another ministerial target, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, we'll need that for sure. Okay. Trouble reinforcements have arrived. Jordanian troops on our border. I can, with your agreement, and for security reasons, give marching orders to a... Let's go ahead and do it. Maybe we'll provoke a war, Jordan. 
Police have arrived on the scene. Authoritarianism, popular uprising. Without a real surprise, the paramilitary units of the enemy have entered in action. Paramilitary armed forces. Don't worry about that. These renegades engaged paramilitary troops. Let's go ahead and intervene. The battle has taken a new First turn. fatality. The rebels, rebels open fire. fire. The rebels have stopped fighting. All right, there you go. They started to flee. Is this the pacifist union? No. Yeah, it is. Okay. And I think that is ended. And we still are over seventy-three percent. We're gonna offer financial aid here. Carefully. One point seven million dollars. Million LVCs. Thank you for your precious support. Go ahead. You need as much support as you can get. Do not eliminate their government head of government. And I think that's it. I think we have secured ourselves. Weaken Parliament to the point where they are their power. They have the power to vote on laws, but no motions of no confidence against us. That is that. There is a problem in the government here. Apparently, there's a couple of problems. Possible moles that I think I need to. The rebel movement. Okay. There's our Christmas guy. Preparations are complete. The whole country is preparing to joyfully celebrate this occasion. It would be a joy if you would participate in the festivities and mingle with the faithful. They would be very grateful and it would send a strong message. Let's go ahead and mingle with them. Okay, Living Democratic Forces. Conflict is in a dead calm. Um, we can track and attempt to locate them now. That's true. I have not been too worried or too focused on this whole Libyan situation. I think there are some people on the channel who want me to refocus my efforts there. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to eliminate head state. Okay. Lots of stuff going on here. I have to slow things down. Bargain concluded with the Minister for the Economy in Saudi Arabia. Iranian network do not eliminate head of state there. We're not interested. I have not been assassinating anyone at all. And I also haven't rigged any elections. Well, people are saying that I should rig elections since uh, should I, I should go for the elections and then rig them if I'm going to lose them. Uh, I actually have never done that in the game. I've never actually rigged an election. Um, but I could try it, I guess, if, if I'm going to lose, if things are failing. Uh, we are pushing to the end of the quarter here. End of the year. And in the new year, we're going to take a number of new steps. The terrorist organization One thing is going to have to be to raise this popularity right away. This is pretty low, 71. But like I said, Parliament's power has been weakened, and our head of state length... Uh, length of our term is at 10 years. 10 years to be the president. It's almost like Caesar, right? Caesar, I think, proposed a 10 year council, or he was 10 year council before he became council for life. So, a new Roman Empire emerging in the East. Maybe a new Byzantine Empire, if you want to call it that. Uh, Egypt, again, is on my list to target, but we are not moving against them just yet. Our army is at 300,000. I'm also going to need to buy new weapons in the new year. Uh, but we've got about... Here we go. You've changed the deal on ecological issues. There we go. Let's get an endorsement. That might help. That'll be a first step to improving our popularity. Don't worry about that. Let's go. Keep it going. We're going to push to the end of the year in this episode. And I'm not going to do a statistical review. I think the last one, nobody watched it. It's still under like 200 views. So uh, I typically don't post another video until the previous video has come up to 200 views. So I don't think I'll be posting any more of those uh, statistical reviews. Although I will be doing some reviews within the episode. And I wanted to actually check out Egypt uh, just real quick comparison they have more men than we do they have five nuclear warheads when did they get nuclear warheads oh man we might have to go nuclear on them real quick I wanted to check on defense where is it where is it security there it is um, military defense budget 
they are 35th, we are 13th. Just doing a quick military comparison. Number of tanks and armed cars, we are 11th. They are 5th. Oh, wow, we're going to need more. Whoa, we're going to need more weapons here. Egypt is pretty strong. Missile launchers, 14th to 8th. Oh, man, they got us beat. I wanted to check out something else real quick. Well, what, let me check out one uh, fighter planes. This is a significant number. Damn, they got much a much bigger armed forces than we do. Okay, we're going to have to uh, do something about that. I'm not going to be attacking Egypt anytime in the near future. I have to build up my armed forces before I do that. Alright, we're pushing to the end of the year. Now, I want to check out these uh, weapons industries real quick. So, if we go into... Uh, I know that we are building... Let's see... Fighter planes... What is my... You know what? I have to do this differently. Let's negotiate. Not meeting request. New. Co oh, hold on. Champagne. I'd be happy to. That's what we. Leaders are proud. No, honest. Speak out of me in public. Okay. Okay, good. All right. So I just wanted to check out real quick. We're gonna try. I want to see how much we are producing. Fighter planes. Alright, I am producing one fighter plane per year. Now, the question was, does that automatically go into the army? One fighter plane per year. At the end of the year, let's see, we have fighters. Uh, 289 for rank 2 and 111 for rank 3. So I'm wondering if this actually fills in the ranks at all. Or is there a way for me to buy from my own military? We're going to find out at the end of the year. This was a question I posed a while ago, and I never really confirmed it for myself. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Saturday the 25th, December, this is Christmas, as far as Christians are concerned, but not as far as, well, I guess Eastern Orthodox are Christian. Um, they are not, their Christmas is not on the 25th. I think their Christmas is on January 8th. I don't, I don't remember if the game actually shows that or not. Statement in the press, 5.9%, nice bump up there. We want to maximize, time to vote, look at this. Yeah, we mean to determine interest rate value for organizations, banks. I want to go up a lot more than that. Oh man. That whole, uh, yeah. <laughs> that whole, Levant Union banking thing there. The terrorist organization seems to have a lot of bugs in there. Speaking of terrorist organizations, let's take another shot at these guys. Greek brought this these guys will never end. Neither will the communist forces. They just can't get rid of the one or two guys they have. Even when I have like seventy five percent of the person oh look at this, even more people. Movement for the Emancipation of Cyprus. Ugh. God, infiltrate them. 90 fighters. Alright, here we go. End of the year. Unhoused, unhealthy housing situation. Let's slow this down. Check out these numbers. Study lists 5,000 houses from which now be classified as unhealthy. Um, evaluates our instance of illness per capita at 2.7%. This is an excellent figure, Prime Minister. Yeah, not something I have to worry about there, housing. I am not going to eliminate people for the 100th time. Here are the GDP and growth figures for the last year. As you know, these are the most important economic indicators and the most revealing of the health of our economy. 990 billion. We must remain and measure the consequences of our economic stability over the long term. Still approaching that one trillion mark, getting closer, getting closer and closer. Warmongering, got another hit there, and I'm going to wait for things to be recalibrated before I look at the numbers. How much debt has increased? Hold on, maybe I can look at, check it out real quick now. Our debt is at 107. Ooh, budget excess is down to 38 billion. We're going to have to fix that. i got to end all this foreign aid that's being committed. 
13 billion in foreign aid. That'll put us back over into the 50s, I guess. 50 billion. I'm waiting for that surplus number to come through and for this whole thing to completely recalibrate. And that's going to be the end of the episode. So uh, thanks again for watching. i got to do something about this guy. I uh, hope you have enjoyed. Feel free to comment down below. Uh, like the video. The jokes of the show. Yeah, someone said I should get rid of that humorist. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet and you want to see more. This guy keeps getting his house set on fire by these terrorists. Um, yeah, and the intelligence the agency. We're going to have to get rid of that guy. I'm going to take a number of steps in the next episode to boost my popularity back up to 100. Right now, we're going to recalibrate end of the week, and this should give us our surplus numbers. And pay down some debt, I think. Employment up. There we go. All right, let's take a look. Budget surplus is at 4.3. Prime Minister, our numbers for the past year are ready, and I can give, I can now give you the new figures relating to state debt. Therefore, our total public debt is said to, that is said, that is to say, the engagement of the state in terms of loans rises to 108 billion LVC. Uh, debt service or annual debt reimbursement rises in the new year to 10. Billion. Finally, the most significant number of the budget surplus has risen to 4.93 percent of the GDP. That's fantastic. I think. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year, based on calculations that we made last month. This is a very good figure. Very good figure. Our economy is dynamic. Economy is dynamic. Unemployment rate has dropped. Previous quarter was at five percent. We are now at four percent. The work is finally over. And we have an inauguration to go for here. Okay. Thank you for watching, everyone. I think the trade contracts are going to end in the next episode. And we'll see the impact there. Still at 17% inflation. Getting really close to that $1 trillion number. But when those contracts end, I don't think we'll get it. All right. I'm going to end it here. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.